682. SCP Holy moly! Oh god, he's coming in! Woohoo! It's like Godzilla! Oh my good god, the attack helicopters are coming in! Hello everybody and welcome back to SCP Lab Rat for, I suppose, a bit of a special episode because today we're going to be escaping not once, not twice, not even three times, but today we're going to attempt to escape four whole times from the facilities to explore every single ending that the game here has to offer. So that includes both of the Gate A endings and also both of the Gate B endings. At the moment, I'm kind of off on an adventure to go and find the Gate A endings, which we explored briefly in one of the episodes that I did kind of midway through this series, but the game was in a bit more of an unstable state and it was a bit more buggy. Just can everyone stop for two seconds? So now the plan is to kind of progress a little bit more with that and see if we can do the endings. So, for the two gate endings that I'm attempting to do at the moment, the first one I'm going to do without containing SCP-106. So the gate A endings really do depend on whether or not you contain SCP-106. And we haven't done that. Not in this, this episode at least. So we're going to do the gate A ending without SCP-106 and then the gate, ending, gate A ending with SCP-106. Hello, Peanut. Please come through. Ooh. That was a slide. We almost got to see the whole thing then. Well, I don't think it's through here, so you stay there, I guess. I thought I closed this door anyway. Unless there's going to be another one as soon as we open this. No, oh, good. Okay. And the reason that we started at SCP-079 is because SCP-079 is kind of like the midpoint for all of the endings. They all kind of like start with you kind of playing around with SCP-079. That's what we've done. He's told us that we can now escape, so we are going to escape. I'm not sure how much cutting this episode will involve. There might be quite a lot of like snipping and merging into different scenes and whatnot. Lots of skipping ahead just because I need to kind of find my way around here. So hopefully you'll bear with that. But really the, the aim of this episode is just to kind of get to the endings and hopefully see everything that this game has to offer in that regard. But for now, I've got to try and find my way through this absolute maze that is heavy containment. Step one at least is to go and find blah, 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 the gate A entrance, or the gate entrances. Once we get to the gate entrances, like this, then we can find our way out. So the entrance zone, perfect. At least I remember that. we got to go down the corridor, we got to go through a couple of Tesla gates, and then to the corridor with the little box on it. Remember. Okay. Another thing you have to bear in mind is that because we are starting the game at SCP-079, I cannot save the game. Thanks to everybody. Yeah, so we're going to have MTF units, we're going to have 173, 106, you name it. SCPs are going to be coming out from all over the place to try and get us. How do I get this pizza? I want to... Come here. Got it. This pizza is going to be very important for later, so I'm going to keep it for now. Oh no. Oh, it's like a tongue. How does it look? Okay, it comes back out nicely. Ooh. I don't like that. You stay away from me. We've already played with you once, and it wasn't fun. So yeah, it's gonna be spicy. But I'll try to make my way to gate A entrance, or at least if we can find where gate B is before we die, then that's gonna be pretty good. He comes out the side of the... What are you... Okay, that was interesting. Um... Oh! oh! We haven't got time for you, Baldemon! We gotta go! We gotta go! And we gotta go quickly! Oh my goodness, I forgot that he appears in every door. The anxiety demon is back. 
Go away! I still want to see his face. I wonder if we can do that. I'm gonna try and whip myself around. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we did just see it. That's pretty cool. It's like white glowing eyeballs. I think the best plan for navigating the entrance zone is to just walk in a straight line until we get stuck like this. And then we decide whether we go through the door or down the stairs. And I would vote down the stairs. I did navigate this before to get the level 5 keycard in the last episode. Oh, and by the way, if you kind of want to know how we got to SCP-079 in the first place, then definitely go back to the previous episode, the one specifically focused on SCP-106, because that will show you how we got to where we got to before we got here, basically. Oh lordy, it's the MTF unit. So these guys walk in a train of like three soldiers, I think. Oh, oh, we got shot at. That's the first time. Oh, hello. I got to see you as well. I wonder how long they chase for. I, I shouldn't stand next to the door just in case. I think he's lost us. So I've seen them before, and they walked in like a train of three. Oh! They ambushed me. They ambushed me. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be difficult because we got to do this without dying. We got to do this without dying. What is happening over there? <gasps> There was an anxiety demon and an MTF unit? That's terrifying. So, I guess the good news is, like presumably the MTF units will spawn where the gate A or gate B entrances are. And that's how they come into the facility. So if we knew that one kind of came through there, then that gives us a bit of an, an idea of where maybe one of the entrances are, which is pretty cool. Dr. Gears over there. But there is a couple around here which we ended up messing with last time. So if we can sneak past these guys, then potentially we're on track to going for one of the gate entrances. We have a 173 here. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. I'll just have a little blinking fit. I think he's gone. Hopefully 173 can deal with them. That would be nice. Okay, this is going to be a bit spicy, but we have to coax 173 through here. Oh, he turned around. Come back. Come back! Yep. Going the wrong way! Alright. Fine. That helps me out. I'm gonna go straight. Continue the logic of just always walking straight. There's a button here. Close that. We're safe. Cool. There's not really anything too useful down the stairs. A couple of documents, if anything. So... We'll just continue going straight. I'm sure we'll find a, a, an entrance at some point. This place can only be so big. 096 here. No. Good. Good, 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 good. I like the weird, like, blackboard walls. It's kind of weird. It's almost like... They give him some chalk and just let him crayon while he's... Busy? Okay, so MTFs are close. You can hear them. Oh, we really didn't need you, though. I've got a choice. Do I go straight now? I'm going straight. Ooh, I'm going to be following them, though. This is risky. This is risky. If we get caught by 106, we're probably going to get teleported all the way back for millions of miles, which is not a good sign at all. Uh, nothing up there, so we can carry on straight. Get me to the entrance! This D-Class is going home! These corridors are endless! How big is this map? Gate A! You better disappear! Is he disappearing? Please disappear. Please disappear. Please disappear. Good. So! We, made it. we actually made it. This is a miracle. So because we didn't contain SCP-106, hopefully it means that he's going to be present here, which is kind of interesting why he chased us all the way out here. Because he should be present to cause a bit of a ruckus upstairs. But, we, we, you know, time will tell. If this doesn't work out, then I'm going to be very sad. It didn't work out the last time we did this. And that was an hour-long episode. So we shall see. Bring on the gate A ending number one! 
Okay. The music's slightly different. What do we got? Please spawn. 106 spawn. This is good. We're not being chased like we were last time. Don't need a torch anymore. You can see the sky, people! The way out! It's coming! We got a road. There's a lot of guards over there. A lot of MTR. Okay, here comes 106. You're my tag team, I need you. Cause a distraction for me. Go, my soldier, go, go! Wait, where's he going? Yes! Go! Oh my god, he's gonna take a lot of gunfire. It's happening. We're gonna follow behind. Ooh, big laser cannon! I'm going this way. I don't know if this is the right way. Ooh, 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 he's been got, he's been got. Okay, okay, we made it, we made it. Oh, I could have just gone down the stairs, damn it. Is he still there? Who knows? We're going, we're going. Is this a way out? I'll take you as a way out. Kinda looks like we're going back in, but it's fine. This does look like a way out. Go! <laughs> we're gonna make it home. We're gonna go see our family again. We're gonna see my child and my wife and my friends, and I'm gonna commit crimes again for day. <gasps> you know too much to let them get you. No, I don't. Coming with us. I know nothing. Ha ha ha! That was the ending that I wanted for this whole time. Ah, so those people at the end were the Chaos Insurgency, which is a group working against the SCP Foundation. So they managed to pick us up at the end there, and presumably we'll be working for them for the future. Again, there's the two devs, Vesper and Yertle. See you guys. But yeah, pretty interesting. I was kind of excited. I just wanted to see like a giant cannon shoot 106 as well. That was brilliant. Super excited for the others. But yeah. There you go. One of four, moving on. So, despite the fact that we have actually seen the second gate A ending, I'm going to go back and revisit it anyway, because there is a couple of things that they, they actually spoke about during the ending sequence of that, which I kind of want to listen to a bit more in detail. I think there's probably something a bit more interesting there than we simply get caught by the Nine-Tailed Fox units, which I guess is minor spoilers for someone who hasn't seen it. I did just completely forget, though, that we needed to go and recontain 106. So Gate A ending part two, we need to go and contain SCP-106, which requires me to go and find SCP-106's chamber. I think in the time that we visited last time, I had no idea what was going on. There was just like a guy on a bed screaming. It was all a bit much. So now that I get to revisit it a bit more, you know, with my head intact, I've got a bit more logic to how I do things. Potentially, we'll be able to contain 106 for realsies this time. How is that like containment? It's basically next to the entrance. Hello, 996. I'm sure we'll do a blink in a minute when he goes for the massive stab. Yup, there it is. Ooh, another thing while we're here real quick. So, I didn't realise, but this down here is 682's containment chamber. So SCP-682 is an SCP that we talked about all the way back, probably in like either the first or second episode of this series as that big, giant, indestructible alligator that, no matter how hard they try, the SCP Foundation has never been able to kill, despite the fact that they've kind of deemed him, like, as an entity that they wish to kill, because he's just so deadly and has such a, a hate towards... Okay, there is a door there. <laughs> such a hate towards um, uh, humanity. So it'll be interesting to read this one, actually. I think we'll, we'll take a minute to do that. And if we happen to get caught by 106, then that's probably a good thing, because we might get taken closer to his chamber. So, interesting 079 decided to activate the gas here to try and stop us from getting to 682's chamber. That, or it's there to prevent 682 from escaping. Because again, that would be pretty tragic for humanity. So, SCP-682 is a Keter class SCP that must be destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying SCP-682, only able to cause massive physical damage. SCP-682 should be contained within a 5 by 5 by 5 meter chamber with a 25.4 centimeter reinforced acid resistant steel plate lining all inside surfaces. Damn. That's like a tiny box. So small. 
Any attempts of SCP-682 to move, speak, or breach containment should be reacted to quickly and with full force as called for by the circumstances. SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely intelligent and was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-079 during their limited time of exposure. SCP-682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. SCP-682 has always been observed to have extremely high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. 682's physical body grows and changes very quickly growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds material. SCP-682 gains energy from anything it ingests, organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set of filtering gills inside of 682's nostrils, which are able to remove unstable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. SCP-682's regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering and SCP-682 has been seen moving and speaking with its body, 87 destroyed or rotted. Oh, 87% destroyed or rotted. Oh, we took the document with us. Thanks, 106. Yes, yeah, so this final sentence was, 682's regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering, and SCP-682 has been seen moving and speaking with its body, 87% destroyed or rotted. So it's just a massive, really intelligent, indestructible lizard. Pretty cool stuff. Right, so hopefully one of these will take us to 106's chamber. And then we won't have to go running around the facility for ages. Wouldn't that be nice? Geronimo! All bow to the mighty 106. I've kneeled. So I've been doing some light research on SCP-106, and apparently his private jet bomber flying thing, whatever this is, has a giant laser attached to it, apparently. And if you look directly at that, it should... I think in the normal containment breach game, kind of like open up a beam of light on its chest somewhere and basically laser blast you from the sky. But I'm not sure if that's implemented in this one just yet. And we were lucky! Look at that! Yes, please! Thank you, 106. So here's 106's magnetic chamber. It's kind of nice revisiting it now that we actually know a little bit more about what we're doing. Which is kind of cool, you know, that's like what the whole SCP thing is about. It's about discovering new things, exploring all this weird and wonderful kind of creatures that we have, and figuring out how exactly best to contain them. And now we know. So, welcome to the chamber. And this time, I'm going to appear with a bit more logic. So we have a guy on the table who has a giant device that's about to smash his leg and cause him to scream. SCP-106 loves people screaming, so what we need to do is turn on the sound transmission so that when he starts screaming, it will be broadcast throughout the entire laboratory, which is pretty genius. We want to turn... Okay, so he's now talking. Yeah, good. Shut up, sir. We'll shut him off for a sec. So, <laughs> we turn off the electromagnetic chamber, which is this giant box here that he's going to be contained in. So when we turn this off, it basically will lower it and make it a bit more appealing for SCP-106 to go inside of. And then when he goes inside of it, all we need to do is turn it back on and we've contained him. Capiche? Capiche. So, broadcast the voice. There you go. Enable screaming! Goodbye, my friend. We need to watch out for 106 to appear, and when he appears, we turn on the magnetic chamber. I'm not sure if we should be watching here, or watching there, but that's too dark, so I'm gonna watch it. Get this chair out of the way. We've lost camera feed. Does that mean 106 is there? Damn it! Why did we lose camera feed? 106? I hear a noise. Sounds like we might be baiting him out. Is he in there? I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on. That might be it. Did we catch him? I heard the laughter. God damn it, 106, you had to cut the power feed, didn't you? Okay. Okay, let's turn the speakers off. Kind of doesn't sound like he's there anymore. Hmm. I wonder how we know. Let's go down there. I'm not sure we'll be able to hear or see anything, but now that he's in the magnetic chamber, we might be able to get a bit more information on the situation. Are you inside? Did we do it? 
kind of feel bad for the D-Class inside there. 106 clearly murdered him, or tortured him, or transport, uh, transported him to the pocket dimension. Oh no, we've lost our inventory as well. Isn't good. Hopefully that will appear back at some point in the future. Ooh, I'm not convinced. We might have bugged out the game. Can I, like, get an imaginary level 5 keycard out of somewhere? There was one here, but it's now disappeared. Yeah, the game's decided to blow up. Not good. All items have disappeared. Even the handles. Look at this. Everything you can interact with just disappeared. I don't even know if I'll be able to exit his chamber. I think we kept the door open. At least if I can find out the general area of where we are. Okay, right next to 049's lift. That's interesting. Wait, are they both connected basically? Oh, because this door's now open. Oh, so this, this gate's normally closed, which is what prevents you from... Oh, in fact, it is closed. Uh, okay, so we have to go through 049 in order to get out. All the doors are now screwed as well. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to reload the game because... Oh, no. Our inventory's back. Good stuff. Okay, so the game is a little bit bugged. But there's 079's chamber, and I think that we can make it out still. We have our key cards, and really that's all that matters. Yeah, let's give it a go. This is familiar. This is good. This is good news. Carry on straight. Uh-oh. That's not good. We'll bait him in here. Ooh, that was mighty close. That was mighty close. Oh dear. Through the door. Through the door. Shut the door. It's kind of funny how, uh, <laughs> whenever I see 173, I also don't blink in real life. I don't know if it's just like a sort of subconscious thing, but oh, yeah, I literally stare blankly. I'm just like, don't blink, don't blink. But I tend to blink together with the actual blinking. Right! So, now that we have contained 106, contained, possibly, we, I, I think we contained him. It was hard to know once the video feed cut off, but now that we've contained him, hopefully that means that he won't be there to stop the MTF units or distract them. Which means that they will be a bit more on high alert for anything kind of coming up to the surface. Only time will tell though, as we ascend to the sky. Open up. Let's do it. Dun da dun da dun 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 da dun da dun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the other ending. There's no escape. We can try. I don't know if this gate opens. Nothing. They've blocked it. Don't do it. No. Is that it? Class D has been found. I thought there was more to it. Perhaps it goes on here? We'll just take a minute to listen to the rest of this broadcast. There you go. So, if you didn't catch it, it was quite like a blah, 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 sort of like, like audio, but basically they get, they get the impression that we have done this many times before by the fact that we were able to kind of get through the facility, navigate the impossible tasks and break out, which is meant to be nigh on impossible. So there's kind of like maybe a multiverse type thing going on there where Potentially, we are doing this again and again and again, and we are ourselves an SCP. And every time we go back to this, we have the knowledge that we had the last time that we failed. That's kind of interesting. We are like one being that just tries and tries and tries until eventually we've got it, but now we know how to do it. So yeah, the, the SCP Foundation detected that within us. And they, uh, they think that maybe we need a classification for our own. So that was the second Gate A ending, which was us being captured by the MTF units. And so now that we've done that, we can move on to the Gate B endings, which so far none of us have seen the Gate B endings. I haven't seen the Gate B endings, so I'm quite excited to do that. 
And that basically deter- well, it's all- it's all dependent on us doing two things. One, we play with the nuclear warhead. And two, we have to go and re-enable control back for 079 to be able to play with the doors. So, I'm gonna do the first ending without the nuke, because, you know, it's always good to go out with a bang, and we'll go out with a bang for the final ending here. But we'll go explore the nuclear warhead. It's been a while since we were down here. I think probably maybe like the third episode along, fourth episode of the series, we managed to go down here. But we didn't really do much with it. We just kind of played with some dials, and they didn't really do much because back then, well, they didn't. So every SCP facility has an alpha warhead, or basically giant nuke. So if all else fails, and the SCP Foundation is kind of got their hands full dealing with all the other situations and they just, they know that they're never going to be able to contain what's going on. They will resort into just nuking the place. Ruining it all. Here you go, the other warhead. And that's what we are going to just conveniently turn off. Remote detonation. Off. Whoops. And remote detonation of the Omega warhead we will also turn off. Like the sneaky D-class we are. We want to get out of here and we don't want to be nuked if anything goes wrong, so... Let's just turn that off, shall we? <laughs> so now all we have to do is basically find our way back to the Gate B entrance. Well, well first of all the, the maintenance panel room and then the Gate B entrance. But either way we have to get all the way back to the, uh, the entrance zone before we can make any of that happen. So, magical spin ahead in time. Okay, so just up here, I believe, there is that way that we kind of either go... Yeah, so we could go down here if we wanted to. And that would take us up a set of stairs that go that way. Which is a bit confusing, I don't know if we want to do that. Or... Yeah, we're gonna, we'll do that! I like that idea, let's go do that. Let's go down here, and up the side path. Genius. Battery and a map. Who needs a map when you've done this a hundred million times before? We are the great D-Class SCP after all. Infinite lives. Infinite time. So we're now on a path that we've never been on before, even though it looks exactly the same. Such is the fun of the SCP fan- Ah! How convenient! The electrical center is exactly what we need to give 079 the power back. Ah, oh, okay. I'm glad we went down here. So, in the last episode, I turned off remote door control, which allowed us to go and visit SCP-079, who was given access to the facility by someone mysterious, but potentially the Chaos Insurgency, but we don't really know. So if I turn it back on... The doors to gate B are now open. Thank you. 079 has now kindly opened the doors for us. Interesting that he's helping us out. You know, I guess that kind of further hints to the fact that we might be an SCP. Because we're all in this together. Oh. My god. Let's go have a look at them. They shouldn't be able to shoot through the glass. They're guarding this door. You maniacs! How are we meant to get through? Einstein, I need some help! Uh. We could probably curve down there if we're really lucky without them shooting too many bullets at us. We'll give it a try. Really got nothing to lose at this point. 106 is here, that's also pretty exciting. That means we've got to just get moving. Okay, we got past it. They might be bugged out, they might not be bugged out, I don't know. I need to go. I need to go. 106. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh no! We're gonna have to bait 106 around here. Go away! We can't! We, we need you to go away! I'm low on health anyway. No! Don't do this! Stop! Ah! I'm really low on health as well. I'm limping. I don't know if I have a way to heal myself. 106, you've ruined everything! You're gonna take me exactly back to where we started. I'll only kneel if you do it, okay? All right, I'm just gonna take your silence as a yes. I will kneel for you now. Certainly not his chamber. Ooh, is that a med kit as well? That's convenient. Kajoosh! Oh my god, it worked. Actually worked. 
Oh, you're coming with me. It was just a massive block. I never thought it would be used for actually anything productive. All right, well, now we got to figure out where we are. Ooh, is that the power block room? It is. <gasps> ah, so we're right near the entrance. Okay, this is good. Yeah, we can get back to where we were. Easy peasy. Finding the gate be door be like. What is going? Is this a different 096 testing chamber? Or is it the same one? I think it's the same one. It is the same one. Yes. Because how we got to the gate A gate was by going through that door straight ahead. So we know that it's probably behind the guards. The guards are actually guarding it. That's annoying. Got guys. Oh! Damn it. It's probably for the best anyway. Oh, it's right here. <gasps> okay. We know where gate B is. We know where gate B is. We know where gate B is. But I still have to go and get the power. That's stressful. So the power's down here and just at the end of the corridor, which means that the two are quite close together. It's just difficult with the amount of guards that seem to be patrolling the area. Because I get, I get gunned up. This is like attempt number six, for sure. You can easily go insane when playing SCP for the amount of times you have to attempt something over and over and over. But everything seems quiet. Oh, I'm so scared. I think there's someone over here. Just up ahead. You can hear them. Oh, don't kill me. Just let me go. Come on! Okay, we made it. We made it. Yeah. Definitely, like, maybe a bad thing about this game, especially for, like, someone who records videos, is having to repeat the same thing a million times just to get, like, the outcome that you need. But we've done it. We're turning this on. The doors to gate B are now open. Yes, and we know where gate B is. We just have to get there. I heard a door open quite close here. Some of the doors, when they open like this, are just ambient noise, and other times it's actually the guards coming through. But if... Oh, yeah, you see, that door's open, but the side door's not, so that's a good sign. That we might be okay. Oh, the darkness is so thick. This is terrifying. My instincts are telling me to save, but I can't save it. We have other endings to explore. Okay. It's just at the end of this corridor. It's just to the right of here. Oh! Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, we made it! Okay, so gate B should be, first of all, MTF guard free. It's a lot more brightly lit as well, which is nice and exciting. No idea where that gate there goes. Potentially from another side of the facility? Don't care! We are leaving through gate B. So, I've deactivated the nuke. Which means... Ooh, did you see all that electricity? What was that? Maybe a texture glitch or something? Oh, <laughs> I'm excited for this! <gasps> 106 is coming out of the lift now! This is such a bad time! Open! Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I don't think this is meant to happen. 106 is not meant to just appear in the lift like this. What? Is he gone? No, he's still coming. What is happening? Ooh, guard up there. I'm conscious of being attacked by 106. Okay, hopefully we don't get sniped. Don't snipe me! Don't snipe me! I'm gonna get sniped. I'm gonna get sniped. Duck down! Whoa! 682! Holy moly! Oh god, he's coming in! Woohoo! It's like Godzilla! Oh my good god, the attack helicopters are coming in! I didn't realize he was that big! And he can grow even bigger as well. Okay! Get me inside at least. That is the cool... The coolest thing I've ever seen in my life! All personnel are advised to board the nearest helicopter. Oh! They've decided to launch the nuke. All else has failed. The nuke's sounding. 60 seconds. Well, little do they know, there is no nuke. <laughs> but, 
At least if we can get to the safe shelter before it goes off. Come on. Okay, what's this? Nothing exciting. Good. Carry on. We were unable to detonate the warheads for unknown reasons. All helicopters and MTF units go back to gate B immediately. Capturing SCP-682 is now our number one priority. <laughs> oh yeah, good luck with that. Ooh, ooh! Can I hide down here? They found me! Ah! I guess that was it. My extermination. So if the nuke doesn't go off, the Foundation is just going to try their best to try and contain whatever's left. Controlling 682 will never be easy, but I guess if you just blow him up until he's a pile of mush, then maybe. But that was amazing. That was so good. I had no idea he would be that big. Awesome. Well, now you know what's coming. We're going to keep the nukes on. We're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to watch it go sky high and we're going to go out with a bang. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Both of them on. Brilliant. Let's get this done. So I guess, before we go out with a bang, I'll talk a little bit about what the future for this game would be. So, I'm quite happy that we have covered most things now in this game. I'm gonna take the pizza, because again, we need it. It's important. How do I get in there? There we go. I've gotta like move my play space conveniently in the way. <laughs> Floppy pizza obtained. Good, gonna need that. Yeah, so I'm probably not going to do any more kind of initial exploration of the SCP facility, at least not in terms of SCP Lab. There are plenty more SCP games out there which I do want to explore and I do want to kind of go through, and I think that you guys will enjoy kind of exploring a bit more about the SCP Foundation as well. I think you'll find that a lot of SCP content, especially from the video game industry, is all based around this game, which for me I find a little bit unfortunate because I think that there's a lot more in the SCP, the, the Foundation and the SCP lore that can be explored without having to recreate this specific setting over and over and over again. But it is very common for game devs to do. Um, am I going to die if I open this? No. Okay, so we found gate B, we just got to go back. Even though I saw a guard over there, which is not good. So yes, that doesn't mean that this is the end of SCP Labyrinth. There are, there's at least one other episode that I want to do and I want to kind of have fun with. But... Other than that, I think I will be mostly waiting on updates from the developer before I go ahead and kind of get involved with any more content. But as I mentioned, that will not stop the SCP uploads coming, they will just be coming from different games. I recently received word from the developer of SCP Nucalypse, which was great. It was such a fantastic surprise. He has been working very hard on a complete like overhaul kind of update for his game, and that will be coming, hopefully, relatively soon. Oh my good god. Okay, he's in a wall. Maybe I can sprint past. Oh no. It's gonna carry on. Oh, they actually opened the doors like that. What are you... Do you think they're being controlled by an SCP? It's like trying to drive for a first-time learner. He's gonna hit a wall again. What are you doing? Do you think we can run past them, or do you think he'll start firing out of his butt as soon as we get near him? They probably just have a radius that they start firing at regardless of where you look, so I'm, I'm cautious. But I do want to get past you. I don't have anything apart from floppy pizza. Can I tempt you with a floppy piece of pizza? Would you like it? Would you like a floppy piece of pizza? Okay, it's going that way, that's good. That's good for us. Good. Good. And we're gone. So yeah, that's kind of the state of where we're at, at the moment, and the state of, of SCP games. So, Nucalypse we'll probably revisit again sometime soon. Uh, there's a couple of singular SCP games that I want to try out as well, so we're going to be doing that. And of course, open. whenever any new SCP Labra updates come out, we will of course be playing those as well. So, hopefully that just gives you a bit more kind of confidence that this isn't the end for SCP on the channel. Oh boy. But we won't be doing any more sort of initial exploration of Containment Breach, because we've done it now. Well. I say that, we have to get out yet, but once we've done this, then we've done it. And all loose ends will be tied up. Alright, nuke. Completely untampered with. Ready to go. Let's go get this show on the road. See that one, 079? We're off. Thank you for your help. I'm sure your quest of world dominance will happen as soon as we escape as well, but that's fine. As long as I get to go see the outside just one more time, that's all I need. That's all I need. Ah, oh, just breathe in the fresh air. 
<gasps> Good stuff. And we're in the tunnel again. This is so cool. It'd be interesting to see just where we are in the world. Are we in a sky base? Are we flying in the sky? Are we on some giant mountain top somewhere? Are we in the middle of a desert? You don't know. Alright, duck down so I don't get shot. Oh, there's a man there? Oh, he's pegging it. <laughs> she hear a little girly scream. This is my favorite part of the game so far. Just broke out at gate B. I want all available helicopters and MTF units at gate B now. I repeat, SCP-682 is out of the facility. All available helicopters and MTF units at gate B. Here he comes! The helicopter! This is the coolest thing! Oh, the tail whip! Get him! I'm rooting for you, my friend! Go! Get them! And I'm gonna get out of here. 90 seconds on the Alpha Warhead! Got it, got it, got it. I don't think this is a blast shelter. This is probably as far as we get. I don't know! Maybe it is a blast shelter. Judging by those windows, I'm going to assume it really isn't a blast shelter. But there is maybe a chance we can get out of here. A lot of people consider gate B endings to be the bad endings, so maybe it is just no way out for us. Can't get out of here. We'll do our- ah! Oh. And before you go, there is just one more thing that we need to settle. <sighs> SCP-999. How did we ever think that we could possibly have killed you? <laughs> you are the son of a god. No mere mortal such as myself could ever have defeated someone such as you. I just apologize for having teared you apart in the first episode. We know that it took a while to get you back together, but here you are. So here's a piece of pizza. As an apology for everything that I did to you. And... A gesture of goodwill. <laughs>